Hey, what is going on guys? Defiant Reaper here, starting up another week of the weekly Moab commentary series. I uh, hope you guys are having a great week, great day, whatever you're uh, having. Hope everything's going great for you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of a new approach on uh, the weekly Moab video. We're going to go ahead and take a step away from the gaming aspect. And what I'm going to try to do is go from the gaming to real life stories that I've experienced in my life and to share with all of my fellow YouTube subscribers, friends, anybody that wants to listen, you know, sit back, grab a hot chocolate and uh, go ahead. We're going to go ahead and share the tale of Reaper, basically. And uh, I'm going to start things off today about what I did when I got out of high school. Now, what I did, uh, basically, I enlisted in the Army back in 2005. I really... At the time, I didn't know what kind of direction or what kind of career I was actually going to be looking to do. I chose the Army route on account of a lot of my family members personally. Uh, the ones that I was hanging out with were going to jail, getting locked up, getting out, coming back, and then going right back in there. And uh, I figured I wanted to really actually have something, have a meaning towards my life, you know. So what I chose was the Army, and uh, I enlisted in 2005, and I remember when I got home in 2007, because I didn't have a s summer like everybody has between their junior and senior year, once I went uh, to basic between that time, and then when I got out my senior year, I didn't get to go partying and all happiness, because I graduated, I actually had to go uh, become a soldier, really, I went to my rest of my training, and uh on September 1st, 2007, I got the news when I got home from basic. I had to go report to my duty station. And uh, at the time, my unit was deployed overseas in uh, Iraq. And when I got there to meet my unit, the reserve unit, I was basically in for one of the biggest surprises that was ever delivered to me. What was given to me is something that I'll never forget. I'll never forget how it was introduced to me that day. And I walked in. And I was a private at the time. And the sergeant looked over at me. He goes, Private Rivers. And I said, yes, sergeant. How you doing? Uh, he goes, well, welcome. How you doing? I'm such and such. And I was like, oh, nice to meet you. And uh, he goes, well, you know your unit's overseas right now, correct? And I said, yes, sergeant. And basically where he goes is, I'll never forget it. It was just the same exact way as I'm about to tell and share with you guys. Is he goes, you have a first class ticket to Iraq. And I just looked at him and I smiled and I was like, oh, okay. I really didn't know what to say or do at the time with that comment. Uh, I just basically was flabbergasted at it. And uh, I just couldn't tell what I needed to do to fix things. And uh, that's basically where I was at. And so basically that's where I'm going to leave you guys off where I just got told I was going to Iraq. And in next week's video, if you guys want to still hear the story of the military career that I had or possible basic training stories that I was in, um, I'll be more than happy to share it, guys. I'm out. Take care. Peace.